Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> there was a lot of pitching going on out there tonight. That was that was impressive. Uh, Alex Meyer and Michael Roth, outstanding. And, you know, it's one of those deals that you know we we got a walk and a hits batsman, and uh, they both scored early, two runs, and it ended up being enough. Certainly didn't think it would be, but uh, Michael was outstanding, and Alex Meyer, he's he's very difficult to get to. I mean, he's got the power arm slider at times. It's really special when he mix in a few change-ups. But, but uh, Roth will, will battle, make some pitches as well. Good defense on our part. A couple of tricky plays in the infield, and um, we were able to, to make those plays in two hours and 16, 18 minutes. Brandon, did you see something on film of Meyer where he was struggling early, or was that just how he pitched in the first inning tonight? You know, he. I looked at his boxes. I looked at every – today I looked at everything he did the entire season just to see if there was any tendencies or any trends. And, and the, the bottom line is he's going to stay there. He's going to stay there for 100, 120, 125, and he's going to get some strikeouts and you're not going to get many hits. Occasionally there were some walks. He was high at times. He hit a few guys, but not enough to really cause damage. I mean, we, we were fortunate. We were able to – and Jackie gets a hit there, followed up by a hit. So um, you don't you don't get many opportunities, and, and uh, fortunately we were able to get a great outing from Michael Roth. But Michael is you know obviously the mid nineties like a guy like Alex Meyer, but all he does is, is get outs, and, and, and is he quickly you think starting to establish himself as one of the top Friday night guys in the in the, in the league? Well, it's only the third weekend, but I I, I hope we're having this conversation the seventh or eighth, but. He's done a great job. He knows how to pitch. His velocity is better than maybe in years past. He'll get up in there at 86, 88 sometimes. And uh, just when you're looking for a, a slider or a change up, he'll sneak one in on you. And it obviously has, seems to have more velocity than it really does. But you have to set up pitches, and he does a good job of that. So I'm certainly ecstatic with what he's been able to do for us. Not only has he been a winner for us, but he's been, he's been eating innings. And God knows we need that right now because we, we're a little bit thin, and uh, we need we need somebody to take out some innings on the weekend. Just to follow up on what you're saying about Michael, you're flashing back to the World Series and when you started him in that game against Clemson, um, did, did you kind of did you know that he had the potential to be as dominant as he has been since that point forward? No, I, I'd like to tell you that. I'm that smart, but uh, no, I didn't know that. I mean, going back to that time, what I did know was his courage, and he was a he was a tough youngster. So that's what I knew, and that's why we did what we did back back in June. Um, then going forward, the timing of of our pitching staff with Cooper gone, Dyson gone, we felt like he would be a guy that could step up there and do a really good job for us, and. and He's, he's exceeded that for me. He's been very, very special. I thought he would be good, but he's he's been as good as anybody else. So I'm I'm, I'm delighted with what he's been able to provide for us. How instrumental was the defense, uh, specifically from Morales and Mooney tonight? I'm sorry? I didn't. The defense from Morales and Mooney, how important was that? Well, it was, it was big. You, you, we just didn't have room for error. I mean, it was a situation that Mooney had a couple of change up balls that were not hit very hard, tricky hops, you got to come get them. Uh, he got himself in between one time, Morales, moving in and out over there, on the line, off the line. Uh, he's, Morales and I have more communication during a defensive inning than any player I've ever coached. Uh, he knows what he's doing over there, and, and we're try, I'm trying to get scouting report from Coach Myers as we're going to try to get him left or right based on our scouting report, but uh, those guys, those guys made big plays for us, no doubt about it. Just when you're in a, a, a game like that, you can't you can't give extra opportunities. Now we ended up getting a couple, but we weren't able to push the runs across because Meyer would come back and strike a guy out or get a get a pop up. Last night on your call show, you talked about Peter Mooney sort of finally settling down and playing the kind of baseball you guys expect him to. What's been the difference between the way he's playing now and the way it was four or five weeks ago when he was really struggling? You know, I really think it's a, he was comfortable. He's, he's a really nice young man. He's very level. 
had a great fall, great preseason. He does his work. Um, he he's a, he's a good player. And then the season started, and then it was almost like he was trying to do too much. He was gonna you know was gonna hit doubles, and he was gonna hit a home run, he was gonna make great plays, and I think he just got out of his comfort zone a little bit, and then he settled back down. And um, I was really really pleased with with how he handled himself down in Gainesville last weekend. So. What you're seeing now is really the, the guy that, that we thought we were going to have the entire year. And, and he's been solid for us. He's, you know, he worked the lead off walk tonight. You know, he's, he's still not hitting like he'd like to hit. Certainly that home run was uh, big for us tonight. So uh, I just think it's just a matter of early on he was trying to do too much, and now he's comfortable.